Hey there, Ed from my SIG talk. Um, we're actually not going to talk about a SIG today. My CZ Scorpion. This will be my thousand round review for my CZ Scorpion. Um, and I gotta say, thousand rounds into it, I love it. Um, before we get into it, empty mag. Chamber's clear. Um, so, I always wanted to get myself a, a pistol caliber carbine. Uh, I was in the army, I shot a um, MP5 once when I was in the army and had a ball with that. Really wanted one of my own at some point and finally got one. Uh, I was looking at some of the prices out there, uh, an actual H&K SP5, you know, they're starting at a $3,000 ballpark. I was like, ouch. So <laughs> I looked, uh, looked at some of the other ones. Um, Century Arms makes um, a knockoff SP, or they don't make it, it's imported from Turkey, but uh, they make a knockoff SP5. That's still running around two grand. Um, saw some reviews on the uh, CZ Scorpion, and my favorite thing about it, you still get that HK slap. Um, not my favorite thing about it, but up there. Um, you know, less than a thousand, uh, I was sold. Uh, saw some good reviews on it, picked one up myself, and loved it. Um, Put, made a few mods to it, um, Fortis brand, Fortis manufacturing, uh, foregrip uh, stopper and uh, AR style pistol grip with the uh, Strike Industries uh, pistol grip adapter for it for the AR style. Um, being my, you know, gorilla mitt and uh, long arms, I am six foot nine wingtip to wingtip. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually only six foot five to match that though, so, but um, yeah, that, Having that little bit of angle and a little bit of extra reach really works for me. So, I mean, that's the reason why I went with the carbine over the pistol as well, just because, you know, that feels pretty natural to me. Um, but um, I also went with the Swamp Fox Blade red, etched reticle scope. And then I went in the amber color. Um, I said it before, I was in the Army, I was Transportation Corps. Red green colorblind, so I couldn't do any of the combat arms MOSs. That's the reason for going with this uh, etched reticle scope. And I, I got to tell you, game changer for those of you, those of us who are red green colorblind. Check out something with an amber light to it. It is tracking it on different colored backgrounds is amazing. Uh, this is a great close quarter scope too as well. Uh, it's got the markings for uh, the drop, you know, in the uh, not for the drop. I'm sorry, but for the rise of the scope. For a close quarters combat. You know, this is going to be a home defense weapon. And that's perfect for this. I've had some other people say you should have gone with this other scope that's got, you know, it's um, it's marked at 200 yards and then it's got 400, 600, and 800 yard reticles. Yeah, that's going to work well with a pistol caliber carbine 9mm, isn't it? No, no. This is a great deal. Uh, like I said, if you're red, green, colorblind, check out something with that. Uh, amber colored reticle or amber colored dot. It makes a huge, huge difference. Um, it did not co-witness with the uh, taller um, uh, three plus sights that, you know, I think they're, uh, from what I've been told, they're taller than the ones that came on the uh, earlier models. But since it's an etched reticle, you already, already have something to uh, to check. I mean, in that's when the light's not on, It's you still have something to look through. You still have something to look at in the scope, so you still have that target. You know, so since it didn't co-witness, took them off, and it's no big deal. But um, put uh, put a thousand rounds through it so far and have no complaints. I did run uh, three different uh, types of ammo, uh, two different types of herders, um, which is the Bass Pros um, House brand, uh, just their standard 115 grain ball, and I got a couple boxes of their 115 grain hollow points. $13.99 for both, uh, 50 rounds of either one. Get a couple, keep them for the home defense, uh, home defense rounds, and you know try them out. Get another box to try out. Ran them through both this and my Sig P229. They were in great. I also had some uh, leftover Sig rounds from I think the first round of ammo that I bought from um, when I got my P229. And you know all three of them ran great. Even ran a mag candy cane, whereas a couple rounds of this, couple rounds of that, couple rounds of this, couple rounds of that, just and did not have a single malfunction. 
I have not had a single malfunction in this rifle yet with a thousand rounds. Uh, cleaned it a couple times, um, no issues with the uh, bolt, any wear in the bolt. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Maybe eventually I will go to that aftermarket brand, which I'm blanking on on the top of my head. Blanking on who makes it, but you know, there, there is an aftermarket available for that, which is a stronger bolt. Uh, eventually going to go with a suppressor as well. Um, probably go with, you know, with the shorter barrel and probably go with the Huxworks. Um, uh, the Cash 9 was the one I'm, that caught my eye. Thank you, Cawthorn Trust. I think that's what you're, how you pronounce your, um, your YouTube username. Uh, for your review on the, on the, with the, being a lefty, that's big to me. Uh, I don't want that, you know, that blast coming out of the ejection port. I'd rather have it coming out of the front of the um, um, suppressor and have it still run quiet. And your review was awesome. And I do apologize if that's how you, if I, that's not how you pronounce that, but you know, thank you. Uh, but that will be the, what I'm going with. The only other thing that I saw with this, fully extended, yeah, the stock rattles a bit. Yeah, I might change that out. Um, maybe go with the 1913 adapter and a Sig minimalist stock with this. So I mean, it gets rid of that rattle, and hey, it's a left turn rather than a right turn to collapse it. Um, it's not going to interfere with this, not that this does, but, and, you know, it's going to be better for me being left-handed, too. Cool. But, uh, the only thing, uh, only other thing, uh, hey, the factory mags, they eject well. Not a problem. I did get a couple P-Mags, 35 round. These are 20 bucks at, um, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, but, they don't drop. I have a feeling that there's a little bit of a ledge on the, this is like the three plus, uh, um, the three, uh, the three plus, uh, three plus, uh, point, uh, latch point. There's a little bit of a ledge around it. I'm going to try just dremeling that off, see if that works. But, um, you know, they, the back, the mags on the list do say, um, Evo three on the, for the, uh, but it will fit the uh, 3 Plus 2 as well, which is great. Uh, may eventually try to pick up some AKV mags from Palmetto. I want that banana, that, you know, <laughs> that, uh, uh, the Chiquiti, Chiquita banana, like, style one, because, you know, for the kitsch factor. I'm into goofy shit sometimes, but, uh, yeah, I like that. But, hey, it runs great. Thousand rounds through it, have no complaints. Check out some of my other videos. I can show you the candy cane mag. I can show you the three different rounds and three different mags. Um, and there's a funny one of you know some brass going down my back as well. Uh, feel free. Uh, hey, click like, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have some other reviews coming up too as well. I've got uh, two very similar but very different pistols that I will be reviewing by the same company. Uh, that's a teaser. And um, you'll probably put up some more shooting videos too. But hey, thanks for checking out my video.